Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm in the studio again, practising, playing around and experimenting. Today, trying to sort of capture the feeling of a flock of birds against an oncoming stormy sky. After a few failed attempts at trying to achieve this sort of effect over the years, um, I had some ideas, and today I'm going to be trying them out. This is my first try and while it's not wholly successful it's certainly taking me in the right direction. So in my work as a full-time artist it's not filled with making wonderful paintings to sell and, and demos, um, successful demos, it's filled with experimentation and that's the fun part, playing around, um, trying ideas, failing at ideas but keeping on sort of working at thinking and trying different things, sketching out different ideas, experimenting with different sort of colours, um, combined together or different mark making techniques just to get the effects that I want. Today's experiment involves sketching out the scene very simply on the back of an old painting. I'm using a carpenter's pencil. I like these big chunky pencils because they're really nice to use for loose sketching. Uh, the big heavy chunky lead means you don't get sort of bogged down by sort of trying to get detail. The next stage is going over my pencil sketch with a brush pen. This is a waterproof Faber-Castell artist pit pen. And I've gone over the land, just given some, put some texture in there to create some tone. And now just making these little marks and building up my flock of birds. Trying not to create any that look detailed, but trying to give the hint of a wing here and a wing there and keeping the flock all headed in the same direction, some of them overlapping, some of them just dots so that the flock looks as if it's got depth and thickness, if you see what I mean. I'm trying to get this shape to work for me and I'm really liking this one. I think this is my most successful flock so far. There's a fine line between sort of creating um, th something that looks too detailed or something that just looks like a random selection of dots. But I think this is the closest I've come to what I've had in my mind about what I want to create. So this experiment has worked so far. I forgot to switch the camera on for the first part of the wash, so I'll explain what I did. I'm using the back of an old piece of Saunders Waterford cold press watercolour paper. It's at an angle of about 20 degrees. And I've mixed up some Payne's Grey for the storm clouds. And I'm using a sort of leftover grungy um, reddish brownish grey um, for the lighter parts of the storm clouds. And I shall wet my page unevenly. So some parts of the paper will be wet, some will be dry. This will give me some soft edges and some hard edges. And here you can see um, where I forgot to switch the camera on, but I've started to just introduce the Payne's Grey nice and dark across the top and this lighter colour um, in sort of shadow diagonals across the sky. I'm now trying to paint this dynamic sky that runs at an opposite angle to the angle at which the birds are flying. This for me, I feel creates, or I'm hoping is going to create a sort of interesting dynamic between this, the oncoming storm and the birds and give the impression of the birds sort of flying up, trying to get to their roosts before the storm hits.
I really enjoyed painting that. And I think that's the thing about practicing without trying to make a finished painting is you take the pressure off yourself and you can just really enjoy finding out exactly what you can do with watercolour and what interesting, unusual effects you can create. And now that it's dry, I think the final stage of my experiment will be to add more shadow to the land. See if I can sort of knock back the detail a little bit so that the sky becomes the dominant feature of the painting. At the moment, neither is particularly dominant and I need the sky to dominate so the birds remain the focal point. So darkening up the tonal value of the land while still keeping a little bit of detail should help to make the sky the star of this landscape. So I'm going to call this experiment finished now. Um, I'm really pleased with the progress that I've made with this idea because I'm seeing that the flock of birds is still looking convincing and effective, but I'm not sure about this style of sky. And that's what I've discovered from this experiment. Um, when you're in the studio, it's always interesting to try and make new discoveries. It's these new discoveries in your work that will push your work forward. Um, and I absolutely love the effects that I've got here, but I think that they just need refining a little bit more, a bit more thought, a bit more experimentation. So today's experiment has been really successful, even if the overall painting hasn't quite worked. It's moved me forward and I now know what my next move is going to be. So I'm going to go back to the studio and carry on with this idea, taking it further, playing around with new ideas, different ways of um, trying to achieve these effects. I'm going to try it with different styles of sky, different styles of land, and eventually I'm pretty sure that I'll get this idea to a point where I can use it in one of my finished personal paintings. So thank you for joining me in the studio today. I hope this um, studio vlog has been helpful to you and will encourage you to experiment when you have ideas um, that you're not sure how to achieve, that you'll sort of dive in and experiment, play around and just see what happens. And you'll find that it'll really move you forward with your work and with your own unique ideas. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and let me know um, how you go about exploring um, difficult or themes that you're not sure how to uh, paint, how you explore those in your studio space. I'd love to read your comments. So thank you for watching. Please um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or a thumbs down if you didn't, because all your interactions are really excellent for um, getting the algorithm to push out this video so more people see it. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. And I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye. <laughs>